guys and welcome back to my channel it is monday in seattle and we are in downtown waiting to go into our soul cycle class i just picked up jordan from work and we booked a soul cycle class yesterday for today at 5 30. um so we just need to wait like 30 minutes before going in but we brought our clothes to change into jordan just snapped a couple pics of me which i'm always very grateful for um yeah i made some mexican rice the mexican rice i told you guys last week i was gonna make for a liquor set i made it today and i filmed that so we're gonna go home after our soul cycle class and eat some mexican rice do some burrito bowls and then take layla on a little walk because she's been loving those um but yeah thank you guys so much for joining this week's vlog it's just gonna be another weekly vlog here in seattle um i'm meeting up with my friend lynn tomorrow i haven't seen her in forever so that'll be really fun um, and then I just have a bunch of work this week for some clients filming some of their products and sending it out for revision and doing revisions if I have to. So anyways, it's going to be a productive and busy week for me, but I'm very happy. I don't think this week is going to be as sunny as it's been this past week. I think it's just today and tomorrow that's supposed to be sunny. So I'm kind of sad about that. I'm hoping that we're still, still like motivated to go on walks, even if it's runny runny raining but anyways thank you guys for joining this vlog i'm literally holding my chopstick that's why my hand is looking awkward but thank you guys for joining my vlog if you're new here thank you so much for joining make sure to subscribe so you guys get all the notifications to my new vlogs i drop vlogs every tuesday and they're usually weekly vlogs and it's just about my life here in seattle and if i travel and whatnot and if you watch my vlogs and are subscribed thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my recent videos it does not go unnoticed so anyways gonna head into our soul cycle class here in a bit and i'll catch you guys afterwards hello y'all we just got done with soul cycle i'm literally so sweaty and gross um but we're gonna head home and shower and together our burrito bowls. I'm excited to show you guys the Mexican rice I made today in my La Crusette pot. It looks delicious, so I'm hoping it tastes delicious. So I'll definitely do a taste test with you guys once I get home. But it was a really good soul cycle class. We did a hip hop class, so lots of bangers on today's little soul cycle workout. It's always good to sweat. I love walking, but it's very nice to be drenched in sweat every now and then, so. Good morning guys. Happy first day of spring. I'm so happy. It's so beautiful today in Seattle. I have my tulips ready for the first day of spring and I threw on my cute pink Aritzia crew neck. Um, I bought this like two years ago, but they rotate their colors at Aritzia and I just thought it was perfect today for today for the first day of spring. So I'm wearing that with my Dilly Hicks cargo pants, which are like super comfy. And then my Adidas Gazelle adorable shoes. And there's Layla Bean snoozing. But anyways, it is Tuesday in Seattle and I'm actually headed to URL to meet my friend Lynn. Um, she's literally been doing a world tour. No, just kidding. She was in LA and then London for a while after our New York trip. So I literally haven't hung out with her properly in a very long time. So I'm very excited to catch up with her and just hear how her trips went and, you know, just catch up. So very much looking forward to hanging out with her and getting some lunch, I think, because it's around noon and I'm actually really hungry. All I've had today is coffee. So I might get like toast or something if they have that there. I also have to run to editor consignment in Finney Ridge to pick up some pieces that didn't sell at this consignment store. So I'll be headed there afterwards and then I think I'm gonna run to you village. I saw a vlog this morning and they had gone to Bon Bon to get some Swedish candy in New York. And ever since then, I've been craving like some soft, chewy candy. So I'm gonna go to their, I think it's called the Olfactory at U Village. It's like a candy factory. So I'm gonna go pick up just like a little baggie of treats. My little spring treat today. I also use the new day hair. Well, it's new to me. It's for like sleek back hair, just to style your hair. and. 
it actually works really really well i didn't have a lot of time to really sleek it back but it did what it needed to do very simple look for today let's go to url I just picked up the clothes that didn't sell at Editor Consignment. I also went to the confectionery. It's actually called the confectionery, not the olfactory. The olfactory is like the olfactory system or I don't know. Might have just made that one up. I don't know why I thought of olfactory, but it's confectionery. And not everything was amazing, but there was like this. I changed into a comfy outfit. Jordan and I are going to walk over to... Ooh, what is it called? Wooden City Tavern on Green Lake. We're gonna take a very long walk and we're gonna go eat some burgers. So I'm very much looking forward to that. But my vlog did cut out earlier when I was talking to you guys after editor consignment. I was about to tell you guys that I went into anthropology and found the cutest red bag. I'm not a huge red, just outfit girly. I don't really love the color red. But when I saw this bag, I was like, that is the cutest hint of color. And one of you guys needs to get it because I won't be buying it. But if you guys are have been looking for a red bag, Anthropology has the cutest one. Anyways, um, we're gonna head out right now. I'm super excited to get a sunny walk. I think today is the last sunny day, not for a while, but it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. So we're gonna take advantage of the sun today, walk to Wooden City Tavern and eat some burgers. So let's go. guys and happy wednesday i just finished getting ready it's around noon right now my brother-in-law is actually arriving soon he's going to be picking up jordan's golf clubs because they're going to be golfing after work today so that means i have a long ish evening by myself which i'm always kind of looking forward to because we don't get a lot of those of course i love doing everything with jordan but it's always fun at the same time to get some time alone and for him that is golf with his brother and for me it's just hanging out at home or going to some shops but i am actually gonna head over to woodland mod right now this weekend is my friend lynn's birthday party on saturday so she wants all the girlies to wear bows in her hair so i'm gonna go try looking for some ribbon i might go to anthropology because anthropology has some really cute ribbon um, and then I'm going to go to Woodland Mon to pick up a card for her and then potentially a gift if I find anything there that I think she would like. Or I'll run over to September Shop and see if I find anything there for her. Um, but yeah, what else am I doing today? Um, I might run to Target because there are a few things I need. And yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. I'll come back, finish some laundry, but I did want to share with you guys my outfit per usual. I always have to show you guys my outfit. It is not very sunny today, hence why I'm wearing this jacket, but I'm wearing my adorable Oak and Fort jacket. This top is from Darling. It is so spring and I love it a lot. Then I'm wearing my Everlane balloon pants, I call them, but I think they're called something else. And then I'm wearing my Sambas or my Gazelles, actually. I keep calling them Sambas, but they're Adidas Gazelles. Um, and then also I packed a bag um for bar class tonight i booked a bar class through class pass so i'll be going to that at 5 30 i'm not sure if i'll be back in time so i am taking this bag with me in case i just need to go straight to my bar class so anyways let's go run some errands together guys how pretty are these flowers i was literally here just taking pictures on my own and a lady um yelled at me she's like i call this a tulip tree 
and it really does look like tulips they're so beautiful i just love spring so much it's just so cute here in seattle it's not even raining today it's not sunny it's just perfect the weather is perfect and this tree is beautiful <laughs> got done with my bar class. I'm literally so sweaty. But now I'm really hungry. It is dinner time so I need to figure out if I'm going to make something. There's a PCC market here. I'm not sure I want to go in or if it's even a good idea. You know, I have food at home so let's go home I guess. Turning around. It is around noon right now and I'm actually about to head out to U Village. If you guys know yesterday I went to Ballard and I picked up my friend Lynn's birthday present. It is so cute. I'll have to show it to you guys potentially once I get back from U Village, once I pick up the gift paper, a little card for her and some ribbon because she's doing a little bow theme for her birthday party, which is going to be so cute. Um, so I got this really cute Japanese cookbook. I'm not sure if I talked about it or not, but here it is again. It is so cute and her and her husband were in Japan for a while for their honeymoon and I know she loved it so I saw this Japanese cookbook at Woodland Mod and I was like it is so cute like the cover was so cute and then it's a Japanese cookbook and I was like I have to get this for her um so I really hope she loves it but anyways it is the cutest little cookbook I'm so excited to gift it to her but I want to go pick out some cute wrapping paper Woodland Mod has some but tell me why the tiniest roll was like $57 just crazy. So I still want really cute rolls of like gift paper. So I'm going to go to ooh, so paper source in University Village and I'm going to try to get her birthday card there, her wrapping paper from there. And then she, like I said, she's doing ribbon, like little bows in her hair is like the theme of her party. She wants us to wear bows. So I'm going to go see if they have any cute ribbon at U Village. Um, and then I'm going to go to Target. I was debating whether or not to go to Target because I have a partnership with Beloved. I think it's Beloved or Beloved. You guys might know the brand. They are at Target. Also, what is happening with my baby hairs? Baby hairs go crazy over here, okay? They're just so annoying. Um, anyways, I need to go to Target because I'm working with the company Beloved and I'm going to be doing a little morning routine, which you guys know if you follow me on TikTok, I love my morning routines every morning and I love sharing them with you guys. So they love them too. And so I'll be working with some of their candles, which I am such a candle girly. So I'm excited. I'm going to go pick some out today um, and then potentially shoot the content today as well. Um, what else do I need? If I don't find the ribbon I want, I potentially might be going to Hobby Lobby if I don't find it at like paper source or anthropology i know anthropology sometimes has really good ribbon but that's usually around the holidays so that might not be possible today but we'll see anyways i'm gonna go run some errands and then i need to shoot like i said for beloved i think i want to shoot that today and just get it out of the way um and then i need to clean the apartment jordan and i are meeting um sarah the girl i've been hanging out with weekly we're meeting this week on a little double day at a thai restaurant in south lake union so i'm really looking forward to that um that is at 5 30 today so i still have about like five hours before that but anyways i'm gonna go run some errands and hopefully i find everything i need hopefully i find some cute wrapping paper they used to have some really cute one at paper source i hope it hasn't sold out or i hope they've gotten some new cute ones so anyways i'm excited the sun came out randomly so that makes me really really happy also guys i keep switching my phone because my hand my arms my bar class last night was insane like i was literally trembling i was trying to keep up with the instructor and with everyone else and i have i'm just like so weak right now so I was literally trembling and today even just holding my phone up like this like my arm is starting to tremble and just it's just in so much pain Ugh. but anyways it's been really good to get back into like the workout scene 
I was obviously walking a lot and I still want to walk a lot like during spring and summer, but it is nice to go to classes. So we've been on class pass the last two months and just doing some fun classes has been very fun. So yeah, looking forward to booking some more. I might be doing one tomorrow, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm so tired, so exhausted because like three days ago we did Soul Cycle and then yesterday I did Bar and both of those were brutal, but just so good. Like I feel so good, so accomplished. So I might book another one for tomorrow. We'll see. Or one for the weekend, maybe like a hot yoga or something. But like I said, we'll see. Anyways, let's go to U Village and then let's go to Target to pick up my beloved products. I just left Target and I found the beloved products I needed. I couldn't find them for like 15 minutes. Um, and then finally I found them. They were in their own little like section. Like they were highlighting them in the Target store. So that was annoying. It did take me like 15 to 20 minutes to find it. Um, but I also went to Anthropology. I didn't find cute wrapping paper at Anthropology, but I did find the cutest scrunchie, guys. It was so beautiful. I love a big scrunchie. If you know me, you know I've been wearing scrunchies for years. Since like high school, I used to stick them in my buns. Like, I just love them so much. I think they're the cutest. And I feel like they really elevate like a hairstyle. So, I got that. I didn't need it necessarily, but I had been looking for like a big one like that. And when I saw it, it was like the last one there. Um, so I felt like if I didn't get it, someone was gonna pick it up. So I grabbed it. It was a tad pricey for a scrunchie, but like the scrunchies I have, I've literally had them, like I said, for years. So I know this one will be on the same boat. Anthropology had the cutest tapered candles. They were so spring. The yellow one was beautiful. It had this it looked like embroidery on it, but it was just stunning. I don't need taper candles though, so I did not get that. And then I went to Paper Source and I got the cutest wrapping, wrapping paper. I've seen it there before, so I'm shocked they still had it in stock. Um, so cute. So I'll be wrapping Lynn's present in that. And then I came to Target and I picked up the Beloved products. And yeah, now I'm headed home. I am gonna clean a little and get ready before I pick up Jordan before we head out to dinner. So I picked Jordan up around four today and dinner's at 5.30. So I'm trying to figure out how to navigate that because traffic at that time is just so bad. It's gonna take me like 30 minutes to get to downtown. But then my issue is like once we're downtown and I pick him up, do we drive back home and then drive back in traffic or do we just hang out in traffic I mean, do we just hang out downtown and like roam around, potentially grab a drink before we head to dinner? That's my dilemma for this evening. So I'm trying to figure that out. Or another option is I have Jordan train home, which would suck for him because then we'd have to be sitting in traffic again later to get back to the city. So I'm almost thinking that I'll just drive out there, pick him up at four, hang out with him in like South Lake Union or downtown area before dinner at 5.30. I think that's the play. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on all of that. I am back home and I wanted to share with you guys what I got Lynn for her birthday. So let me show you the wrapping paper first because I thought this print was just so cute. It has like a little like wine bottle, cute little birthday hats, balloons, and then like different cakes. I thought it's so cute and it's kind of perfect because I'm planning on also getting some pink ribbon. Update, I didn't find ribbon anywhere that I love. So I will be going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow because I didn't have time today. So I'm gonna find some pink ribbon. And then once I put her, like wrap her gifts with this, I'm gonna do tons of little bows and stick it on top since that's the theme. And then I also have a wine bottle that I got for her and I'm gonna do another bow around the wine bottle. So trying to stick very much with the bow theme. Okay. From Whittle and Maud. Oh, sorry guys, you're just sitting. On oh, okay, again. You're just sitting on my desk, so I'm sorry. But this is what it looks like. I thought these little illustrations were just so cute, and I feel like Lynn, in her own way, is like very artsy. And so I don't know. I saw this, and I was like, "This is so cute. It'd be so cute in her kitchen." And, you know, hopefully she uses it. We'll see. She doesn't have to, obviously. But, I mean, I guess I should say I hope she likes it. Because <laughs> I think it's so cute. And it looks like it has 
some really good recipes in here. It's a really beautiful book. So yeah, I'm excited to wrap it and add some bows to the wrapping paper. But anyways, I'm back home now. I'm gonna speed clean and then change into a different outfit for dinner. Okay guys, I just came up with my outfit for dinner and I am so obsessed. I wasn't sure what I was gonna wear, but I'm gonna wear these pants from Rowie the Label. Um, this jacket is a new jacket from Indian Cold. It's so cute. I feel like it's so perfect for spring. It's super light, but it has that like boxy oversized look, which I love. And then this tank, which is a tank that I've been wearing forever, is from Dish and I wear it all the time. This little necklace is from Made by Mary. My earrings are Anthropology, And then I'm wearing my Adidas Gazelles because they just go with everything. So anyways, I really love this look I put together. And I'm gonna be using my brown Portland leather bag. I feel like it just kinda ties this look all together. I'm really obsessed. These pants are so comfy, so spring. Anyways, I love this outfit so much. I feel like, ugh, I don't know, I love it. happy Sunday. I didn't get to vlog a lot for you guys this weekend. I don't think I even vlogged on Friday. Um, and yesterday we just had family over for the day. And then I went over to my friend Lynn's 28th birthday party at her house. It was so much fun just like getting to know her really close people. And yeah, just celebrating her was really, really fun. I didn't really get to show you guys how I wrapped her present. I completely forgot, but I ended up finding this really cute wrapping paper from um, Paper Source. I did that and then I got some really cute blue ribbon and since her theme was bows, I just tied a bunch of little ribbons around the present. It was really cute. And then I also got a little rosé champagne bottle from Una Femme, which is a online like woman's champagne bottle brand. I've actually never seen them in person. I know that they're online. Um, so I put a little bow around that for her as well and it fit perfectly in the theme because she had a bunch of bottles with bows on them so it was perfect. Anyways, everything was really fun but I did get really tired because you guys know me, I go to bed early. So I did come home around 10.30 and I didn't go out to Capitol Hill with all of them. Um, but now it's Sunday and Jordan and I are going to go get coffee and then we're going to go find a market or just hop into some shops and then go grab lunch somewhere. Um, we still have plenty of groceries from last week, I feel like. So what we decided to do this week is just like every night, if we need a couple ingredients, we'll just run over to Whole Foods really quick or PCC markets and pick up what we need. I feel like that's just cheaper for us rather than just like getting a bunch of things and then not using it up at the end of the week. And that doesn't pertain to like every week. It's just this week because we have um, just like leftovers from last week. So. That's the plan. We're just gonna be hanging out. I have a huge mess by my closet because that was helping me save some room in my closet. Now that I don't have that hanging rack, all the clothes are just on the floor. So I need to figure that out. I also need to do some little spring cleaning. I'm not sure I have the energy for that today, but it needs to be done sometime this week. Layla, what do you want, girl? She's always whining at me when I'm talking on the phone. Um, but anyways, let's go get coffee because it is like 10 o'clock and I usually have coffee at 7 a.m. and I don't want to get a headache, so.
the sun came up today in Seattle and it's been really pretty. Jordan and I are headed now to Climate Pledge Arena to go to a Kraken game with a bunch of his co-workers. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm so nervous <laughs> for no reason. But anyways, we took Layla Bean on a walk earlier. So she got a fun little walk before we left for the game. Um, and I think we're probably gonna spend most of our evening here and then probably go home and just like relax before the week starts again. But yeah, it's been a very, very chill Sunday. Um, not much planned, a chill weekend in general actually, which is always kind of nice. Um, Cause I feel like sometimes we're just like super packed a lot on the weekend or like going on little short trips. So it's actually kind of nice to have a weekend where we're just home and just like relaxing, having people over, going over and doing just like minimal things. So anyways, going to this cracking game, you guys know how much I love hockey. So 